Welcome, I'm Thomas Brown. I'm the founder and clinical director of Equanimity Psychological Services, which is a central London psychotherapy and counseling service. And today I'm in Mojetes in southeastern Brazil, and I'm going to be talking about the benefits of interacting with nature. In the last 100 years, the number of people living in urban areas has doubled, and a recent survey in the UK has found that children are now spending only 10% of their time outside of the home. But what are the benefits of interacting with nature, and what can we do to try and increase our interaction with the natural environment? For many, the benefits of being in a natural environment are intuitive. Numerous claims that being in the natural environment has huge health-promoting benefits. Numerous studies have found that being in a natural environment leads to less mental fatigue. And research has found that the form of uh, attention used in the natural environment is fascination. In unnatural environments such as offices, directed attention occurs and this can lead to fatigue in the person and lead to stress and anxiety. Being in a green open space will avoid getting into mental fatigue and avoid leading to levels of stress increasing. Research has gone one step further and found that mental health in general tends to be better among people who are regularly in contact with green spaces. One study has recently found that children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder show fewer symptoms of their ADHD when in natural environments. Researchers found that patients recover quicker, require less medication, and require shorter hospital stays when viewing natural scenes during their recovery. But even the simple health-promoting benefits of nature are sometimes missed out. In the UK, during the spring and summer months, our main way of manufacturing vitamin D comes from the sun. Vitamin D deficiency is common in the UK. Up to 25% of people in the UK are deficient of vitamin D. And symptoms of deficiency include with depressed mood, fatigue, lethargy, and stress. In addition, the circadian rhythms, which are regulated by our sunlight hours, are extremely important in managing good and healthy sleep and good and healthy mood states. But what can we do to try and increase our exposure to nature? Research has found that even having a glimpse of natural forms such as a tree, even artwork, water features or aquariums can have a huge impact on our mood in a positive way. In addition, our city planners, our architects, are often now paying attention into the innate need of the human natural form. Thank you.